Any coaches you recommend besides Paul Jenka? For all the coaches on my team, one of the coaches on my team finally hit a thousand. Uh, he's based in South Korea in Seoul. He just hit a thousand recently, which is awesome. I respect Bradicus. Bradicus is around 800 count. Josh, my team is around 800 count. The guy that me and Josh originally started our first company with, this guy, Dave, I ran into him in Brazil the past couple of years. He's at 800 count. All the best guys I know in the underground are between like 800 and a thousand right now. So I respect all them. And, th and there's a bunch of other underground guys. Like, like, like you guys are only exposed to what's on social media and YouTube. And all the best guys I know can't be bothered with that shit. They have no interest in that. A lot of them have other, you know, they have a career. This isn't their their job. Even like Connor and Josh who coach the week program with me, they, they have regular jobs, you know, day jobs. A lot of the best guys got driven away from the community because no one respects them as they should. The way it typically goes is like a top advanced guy will come into a forum and I've experienced this firsthand countless times. Come into a forum or a group me group or a telegram group and there's misinformation everywhere. It's the blind leading the blind. To give one example, I came into this one group and someone said, hey, my date didn't close on the first date. And someone said, as a general rule, dates don't close until the second date. And all these people were like, oh, thanks, man. I didn't realize. That's complete misinformation. You should be able to close around 75% of your first dates at a high level. The other 25%, there'll be logistical difficulties or the girl will be prude or wanting to wait or whatever else okay usually stuff outside of your control what happens is then when i go to correct them people take offense like there's usually like mods of the groups that are like usually single digit late count is what i found they just enjoy being a mod in this group and having the respect from other guys in the group because they're a mod not because they're good at game or because they understand game very well but just because they're a mod and then when i come in and, and set the record straight and i'm like hey but you know this is coming from whatever my current late count is at the time you know back in the day oh i'm at 700 girls 800 girls this is how it really is i'm speaking from experience i've been in this situation countless times oh nobody cares man fuck you dude oh nobody cares you fucked up people just want to troll or they want to you know, talk shit, you know, other, other nonsense. I never was acted that way to the top guys. When I was coming up, I had the direct opposite approach, meaning I would hunt out the best guys I could find all across the world, both in my, my network in the community and in my network of friends and, and just naturals and hearing about people being good. I would befriend them and learn whatever I could from them with the sincere hope that I could improve my game. Right. And I would, I would have the utmost respect for them. And it's a shame. That's not, that's not how other people act. They'd rather talk shit and, and, you know, make, make drama and bullshit. So that turned away a lot of the best guys, right? They're like, fuck this. Why, why am I going to go spend time trying to help these guys when people are just going to throw at my face? That's unfortunately what happened to a lot of the top, with a lot of the top guys in the community. All right. Before we continue with the rest of this guys, I can pack your calendar full of dates. Anyone watching right now, imagine your calendar packed full of dates two weeks out from now. That's what happens to most guys that join my eight-week mentorship program. We have over 1,250 testimonials. We're training out beast after beast after beast, getting guys the best results in the industry. But you can go book a free call with the link in the description or pinned comment or go to PlatinumDatingSystem.com and find out the details and pricing about how we can pack your calendar full of dates starting with two weeks out from now. It happens very quickly because we optimize your online profile. We show you exactly what to message on Tinder to turn your matches to phone numbers. We show you exactly what to text to turn your phone numbers into dates. And we show how to run your dates and close your dates. So it all is just systematized and optimized. And the leads just come flowing through and you just start getting hook up, hook up, hook up, or you at least have a bunch of options to choose from for a girlfriend or to build a rotation. Ask questions too about, you know, the people who are wondering about the Ross Jeffries situation that almost mirrored a situation from a couple years ago if you guys know who i'm talking about kevin ray wilder was going on a channel of a, of a good buddy of mine defaming me endlessly and i told the good buddy of mine cut that shit out and he said oh i can't control what that person says even though that person was the, the person i was telling to calm the other guy down was a good friend of like over five years he let him continue defaming me on his show and allied with a whole bunch of scammers and i cut him off and now the same things happen with ross you know, and I, I just threw in the lay count lie. I kind of didn't want to make that public before. Even now, I still do respect Ross on a, on a bunch of different levels. It's just, it's just a shame when these people start allying with total piece of shit scammers that are defaming me endlessly. But the, the kind of the straw that broke the camel's back was when Ross and Mystery debated and someone asked, Mystery, would you debate John Anthony? He said, I have four words, don't feed the trolls. And then apparently Ross reiterated that. And to dismiss me as a troll, especially when Ross is below 100 lay count, and I'm light years beyond Mystery now as well. 
right? So just dismiss me as a troll as it was a bit offensive. While they're on Ice White's platform, who's a total fucking jerk off, not even a double digit lay count. This is a fucking game to learn how to pick up chicks, to learn how to fuck hot girls, to learn how to be, you know, at the at the highest level, fucking more and having more skills than a celebrity or an athlete, okay? Which is a, a pretty cool skill to have and a pretty cool place to be i'm in that place and i've been in that place for like 10 years i've been fucking stunner level girls all around the world for over a decade now running giant rotations always with a, a stunner bisexual girlfriend for two of the ogs to go start sucking the dick of like a low view count retards channel i sway when he's at single digit lay count he demonizes cold approach he allies with sartain and all these other scammers and he's defaming me endlessly right they should say fuck that guy and stand up for me right or they should at least not associate with that guy in the first place it's, it's the equivalent of like a guy that's never fought being all buddy buddy with two top ufc fighters and, and contributing to the discussion even though he has no clue i would venture to say that ross and mystery don't have as much of a clue as as you would hope they would have either right? Mystery is still preaching the seven hour rule, which is retarded. Five bounces on, on public dates, which is retarded. And a lot of other stupid concepts. And Ross is still teaching neuro-linguistic programming and language patterns and, and that stupid shit. Have you ever pulled anyone home and they didn't want to have sex? Yeah, that happens all the time. You can reduce that by, by making out with them before you pull them. So you don't pull girls that aren't down, but there's nothing that guarantees they're going to bang you when you get home. There's plenty of girls that have a hard rule. That's why like anyone that claims they can close any, everyone is lying, right? No matter how good you get at this, there are girls that have a hard rule that they won't go past kissing on the first hangout or that they won't pull home to a guy's house after a date or they won't go past like foreplay. And anyone that's claiming that they can close everyone is lying. It's like Adam Lyons says he can close close to 100% of the girls he opens. It's just total bullshit. <laughs> seems like mystery and the old guy are not looks maxi yeah mystery looks like a depressed lesbian uh a girl like a couple days ago thought i was 30 all right i'm gonna be 41 in october so at the very least looks maxing can help you look younger i think ross has good sales advice i don't know anything about his sales advice again Ro ross is not like a like a mega scam or anything right like ross is a good guy he's helped a lot of people i felt kind of bad making that video i made but I had, I had to draw a line in the sand, right? When he's going to just dismiss me as a troll. Ross, I have video. I, I might do a separate video about this. I have video recording of Ross saying that I'm the only guy he's ever endorsed his whole career in the game for over 30 years. I'm the only person he's ever endorsed. And, and I didn't give him any money for that. And he, he's like, I've had my eye on John for a long time. He's doing the most good in the community, helping guys. He has the best system. He's the most skilled at this. He said all that on camera, right? And it's not like he chose Ice White over me. He just doesn't want to get involved in politics. But since Ice White is defaming me at a great level and Ross is buddy-buddy with him all the time, I take issue with that. And I also take issue with Mystery and Ross just dismissing me as a troll and my game is light years beyond both those guys. And also, you know, Ross is lying about his late count. That's, what is that? I didn't watch this, but I heard it was laughable. The the problem is, is those guys are, are still teaching outdated shit, like massively outdated shit. Like NLP is, is trash. Neurolinguistic programming is trash. Okay, the, the way to get girls is not through language patterns. And Mystery is still teaching concepts from 20 years ago that are outdated and, and massively inefficient and ineffective. So I didn't watch the debate, but I've heard people talk about it. And it, it's a joke. The Kevin Ray Wilder situation was so bad that even the show he was on, the fans didn't like him and stopped coming out after he burned that bridge for nothing. Yeah. And Ross is doing that with ice white keep in mind ice white is a nobody okay he has no expertise no credentials no skills but on his site he says he's like a, a best-selling author and like a game guru and a game god it's all bullshit he hates cold approach he's never done cold approach he doesn't have any cold approach lays single digit lay count and, he, and he's not even in the game he was an rst fanboy that, that never caught any traction i would say he's like a, like a beginner at best and he has products and services to teach game and he he tries to get all buddy buddy with guys that are actually relevant. He used to sing praises to my name until I started attacking him publicly. He put me on his like top pickup artist list and he and he, all this stupid shit. Again, I don't give a fuck what he thinks. So he's irrelevant. He's just a nuisance. Um, but you know, R Ross is gonna keep sucking his dick. So whatever. I think Jay Waller would debate me about what probably not he thinks my whole game is centered around pickup lines he's like oh i would beat him in a pickup competition he can use his best lines it's like he has no clue He's fucking off in left field i heard in real life too he has zero game he, he was trying to learn game from andrew tate and get tips <laughs> that's not a, exactly a great source for learning game they'll teach him how to be try hard which is exactly what what they both do
Any updates on legal decisions? Um, I won a judgment against Modern Life Dating's business and him personally. We're just waiting to have a damages hearing to determine the amount. <clears throat> so I will keep you guys posted. It's, it's slated for early next year, but we're trying to move it up. We're going to submit a motion to move it up. In your opinion, what are the top three cities in America for hot chicks? I would say San Diego, Scottsdale, Arizona, which is near Phoenix, and Miami. But Miami has its downsides, but, but probably those three. You are literally a passport, bro. You moved to a third world country to get with women. I arrived in Brazil at 1,179 lay count. Okay, almost 1,200 lay count. And it's not easy mode here. You need game. I've had intermediate friends come and only get laid like one time in a month. Okay, and I didn't move here to make it easy. I moved here because it's the greatest concentration of hot girls I've ever seen in my entire life by far. Blows away Poland and Ukraine. Liars, manipulators, misogynists, mass corrupting men on a global scale, running a pyramid scheme, running a cult. Okay, I, I truly believe in my personal opinion that Tate has raped a bunch of girls and has been physically violent to, to many girls. There's just countless reports of both. Okay, across many countries, many years, these girls have filed police reports. There's eyewitnesses claiming they witnessed rapes. There's eyewitnesses claiming they witnessed strangulations. Tate says there's zero evidence in the case. Meanwhile, there's actually thousands of pages of documents. And a new update, they, they had uh, gotten their restrictions lifted. So they were able to travel within the EU, but that's been reversed. So now they're confined to Romania again. There's still no date set for the trial, but I will keep you guys posted. I can help you get very good. Pack your calendar full of dates. Go book a call with the link in the description or pin comment or go to platinumdatingsystem.com. Watch in the end screen where he admits to not liking any girls at all, being celibate, and being a fucking loser. Okay, that just got dumped. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. If you're pro or against Kyle and why, like the video and subscribe. Thank you guys, and I'll see you on the video soon. Take care. I said fuck the industry and did it my way. My way. I learned how to roll a weed, I didn't roll a skate. Nah. Go in the back, y'all look at the lake and I meditate. Yeah. All I need is one scale, a couple bells. Came in this shit by myself. Dolph, why you fuck this girl? Oh uh, shit, cause I'm a player. Quarterback, no NFL. Hey.